bacon's okay. I'm not one of those people who's like, bacon, why were people all of a sudden just like, bacon's so great, like why did that become a thing? I don't know. It's the smell, smell of bacon. You know, I also love the smell of onions and garlic. Why isn't that a thing? Hi, I'm Faraday, and today we're making a cheesy cauliflower and bacon gratin. To make cauliflower gratin, you need one large head of cauliflower, you need about half a pound of streaky bacon, one yellow onion, four tablespoons of butter, about a third of a cup of all-purpose flour, three cups of half and half, and a shitload of shredded cheddar cheese. And by shitload, I mean maybe two to three cups. We got our head of cauliflower here. Basically, we're gonna make this into some smaller florets. You're gonna use this whole head of cauliflower. It's about one and a half to two pounds. You can cut it into like these big old chunks like that, and then you can just basically cut it into bite-sized little florets, just like this. So I'm gonna bring a nice big old pot of water to a boil, season it generously with salt, and we're gonna cook our cauliflower until it's like kind of al dente a little bit. So I'm gonna add my cauliflower in there. It's cooked for about two, three minutes, nice and tender, so now we're just gonna drain it. All right. Next up, I'm gonna cook some bacon, get it nice and crispy. Heating up my nice cast iron skillet here. We're gonna add the old bacon. Nice and sizzling. So I'm doing about half a pound of bacon, eight ounces. We're gonna do half it on top, and half it's gonna get mixed into the gratin. The thing about this bacon, it's gonna get a lot of fat in the pan. Save that fat. Don't throw away your bacon fat. Bacon fat is so delicious and great. I'm gonna put it aside on these nice little paper towels. All right, this is done. Look at that. Okay, now that we have our bacon all cooked and crisp and ready to go, we can start making our roux and then assembling our gratin. I need to cut my onion, just dice it up. So basically, we're doing a roux for this sauce because it's gonna help thicken the sauce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with four tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna at least kind of break that up a little bit. Nope. My pan was a little bit too hot, but I'm gonna take it off, let it melt in there. I'm gonna add my onion to this and let these soften. So we're gonna cook these in butter, maybe like two to three minutes, and I might just season it with a little bit of salt. I mean, the bacon smelt good. In my opinion, this smells better. Butter and onion. Those are getting nice and soft. They're slightly translucent. Now I'm gonna add the flour. So this is about a third cup all-purpose flour. Just sprinkle it right in. The flour is what's gonna help thicken it. What I'm doing right now, I don't want to get any kind of color. I'm just kind of cooking out that flour flavor right now. So it maybe takes like two minutes or so. You can like let it sit and chill and hang out, drink your wine. Delightful. So that's cooked for a couple minutes. I'm gonna add in my half and half now. So it's about three, three cups, half and half. I'm adding it a little bit at a time and just stirring it. It's thickening up immediately, you can kind of see it. It's looking really good. I'm gonna stir, yeah, I'm just gonna put the rest of it in now. Typically, a gratin has breadcrumbs and cheese on top. Fuck that shit, we are gonna do just cheese on top and then instead of breadcrumbs, we're gonna do some bacon because why not, you know? Okay, so this is nice and thick, you can see it. It's good, looking good. So I'm gonna add in my cauliflower into this guy. I'm go like that. Just mix it up, get it nice and evenly coated. I'm gonna add in, this is just a cheddar cheese. You can, you can kinda use whatever cheese you want, if I'm honest. I'm using cheddar, cause, I don't know, cheddar, bacon, cauliflower, it speaks together. Coat this up, nice and coated. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna just kinda roughly chop this bacon. Throw that in there. About half the bacon into this. And next up, we're gonna put this guy right into this. This is off the fucking chain. I don't even know what's happening here right now, but I love it. Smooth it out a little bit. Chop up some more of this bacon on top. All over it. Spread it out. It's gonna be so good. All right, and then I'm gonna cover this with more cheese. So now I'm gonna bake this in the oven at 375 for like 45 minutes. It's gonna be golden, bubbling, just gooey, oozing, whatever. So this is baked for about 45 minutes or so. I let it cool down slightly so I don't burn the fuck out of my mouth right now but we're gonna try it. But look at that fucking big old chunk of cauliflower. God, that's gonna be good. Mm. It's like, it has a touch of sweetness to it. I'm not really sure, I think it's a cauliflower. It's really good. Make this, you know, Saturday night for, you know, it's a Saturday night date night, this steak, and like salad, glass of wine. It's perfect. Or if you're just like alone and sad by yourself and hit someone through a breakup and you wanna eat the whole thing alone, do it, do it. It'll make you feel better. Worse, but better also. 
go for it. 